welcome to Toy Princess. Today we're reading Big Bad Bunny. Look who's coming to play. Big Bad Bunny was written by Melanie Joyce, illustrated by Maurizio Rubino, published by Hinkler Books. Big Bad Bunny. Beyond the wild flower meadow in Cherry Blossom Wood, the animals lived quietly in their leafy neighborhood. Life was simply perfect and things were always the same until one day a stranger arrived. Big Bunny was his name. Big Bunny came bouncing by. I'm moving in here, he said. He dug an enormous burrow and flicked soil overhead. What are you all staring at? boomed Big Bunny looking around. He thumped his back foot crossly and dived down underground. Maybe he's just shy, said Al. It's not easy when you're new. Make Big Bunny welcome and he'll soon make friends with you. So the field mice invited him to come for tea at four. They heard him pounding down the path and thump on their front door. Big Bunny had terrible manners. He gobbled up all the food. He chomped on the cake and slurped the cream. He was really very rude. Come swimming with us, said the otter. You'll think it's really cool. All right, said Big Bunny giggling, but then <gasps> he farted in the pool. When the baby badgers were napping, Big Bunny shouted, Boo! You naughty bunny! They squealed. We've had enough of you. The animals of Cherry Blossom Wood were cross and a little bit sad. We've tried our best, they said to Al, but that Big Bunny is so bad. Al sat and thought for a while. I've got a plan, he said. We won't be mean to Bunny. We'll do something nice instead. Al whispered to the animals and everyone seemed delighted. They began to run all over the wood and were terribly excited. The squirrels gathered nuts and the mice found lovely treats. The badger blew up balloons and the otters made some sweets. In their den, the little foxes all began to bake. There's no time to lose, they said. There are lots of things to make. The smells in Cherry Blossom Wood were sugary and delicious. Big Bunny got a whiff and soon became suspicious. Something's up, he thought. I definitely smell a rat. They're having fun without me. I'll put an end to that. He bounded into the clearing and hopped with one great leap. Aha, he cried, bouncing off the jelly and landing in a heap. Big Bunny felt a bit silly as everyone stood and stared. This is all for you, said Al. We wanted to show you we cared. I'm sorry, said Big Bunny. He suddenly felt so sad. Cheer up, cried the other animals. You're really not that bad. Let's get the party started, cried Al. We'll make Big Bunny welcome here. Yes, please, cried Big Bunny, bouncing as everyone gave a cheer. Big Bunny was never bad after that because he had lots of friends. Cherry Blossom Wood was perfect again, and that is how the story ends. Our Friend Bunny I hope you enjoyed reading Big Bad Bunny. Tune in again soon for more books with Toy Princess.
Bye.